Okay, this video will go over uh, how to find the maximum and minimum values of a quadratic ac application using the calculator interpretation of solutions. So pretty much we're trying to find the maximum area. Uh, let's start. A farmer has a thousand feet of fencing to attach to the side of his barn. If his barn occupies one side of the rectangle, find the maximum area he can use to enclose his animals. A. What are the dimensions? And B. What is the size of, of the area the pen will occupy? Now first we have to draw a diagram. So if this is his farm, that means he needs this much room or fencing. Please hold. Now, A is asking what are the dimensions. And in order to find an area, the um, areas of a rectangle is always x times y, or basically the base times the height. Now, if this is S, x, then the side parallel to it must also be x. Now, here we already have our perimeter, which is these three sides. So, 2x plus y equals a thousand feet. And don't forget that our area equals x times y. Now in this equation here, we're going to solve for y. So we subtract 2x from both sides, and we get that y equals negative 2x plus 1,000. And now we're going to substitute that back into the area equation. So we get area equals x times whatever y was, which is negative 2x plus 1,000. And when we distribute that x, we get x, negative 2x squared plus 1,000x. Now here it's very simple to find um, our x. In this case, if it, we were using a graphing calculator, uh, it would be um, for, for the maximum. So basically the vertex, the highest point. And the formula for that is negative b over 2a. Our b is 1,000, so negative 1,000 over 2 times negative 2. And this comes out to be negative 1,000 over negative 4, which is 250. Now this is our x. So wherever we see x, we substitute 250. And also here. Now that we have our x, we can find our y. And the equation that we're going to use is the 2x plus y equals 1,000. Now we already have our x. So 2 times 250 plus y equals 1,000. Excuse me. 2 times 250 is 500. Subtract 500. And we get y equals 500. Now, over here, it's 500 feet. Now, A is asking, what are the dimensions? So basically, our base times the height. Well, that's simple because we already have our x and our y. So our dimensions are 250 feet by 500 feet. That was simple. Now, B is asking, what is the size of the area the pan will occupy? That's basically 250 times 500, or the base times height again. Please hold. So, 500 times 250 equals 125,000. 125,000 feet, excuse me. So our area is 
125,000 feet.